Hey there Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. This is your next 48 hours, what you can expect, what's coming forward, what's going on your next 48 hours Scorpio. I've already pulled the cards to save time so the video doesn't run very long and we will get into your energy. First of all, I want to take a look at this um, Knight of Swords energy. I feel like something is coming forward for you. There's something that's being revealed to you that is going to bring a lot of happiness. Some kind of seeds that you planted are now trying to, you know, come into fruition. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance, right? But I feel like this Knight of Swords is really rushing towards this Queen of Cups energy. So we're going to get into that and we're going to clarify. Um, but first of all, in your recent past, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you may have children of your own or this, uh, someone that you're seeing may have children. I feel like somewhere in this equation, children are affecting your situation. It could be that, you know, you are worrying about finances for your children or you're worrying about being able to purchase something for them. Something like that. Something... Um, something about children here right so we have the knight of pentacles so there's some kind of offer on the table there's something being offered to you but there's also some kind of action that you need to take in order to make this offer work in your favor because i feel like you're worried if this offer isn't the right fit for you that's what i'm getting i'm getting that there's something about this offer that you feel like may not work out, right? It may be that there's too much competition. There's too many people fighting for the job or opportunity. Um, but I feel like, you know, for some reason or another, you feel like this opportunity, what this is, is may not work out, right? You have doubts, you're kind of stuck in your head about the situation. But I feel like this situation is bringing in abundance. It's some kind of seeds that you planted, you know. And now, whatever this is in the near past, whatever opportunity this is, you need to plant the seeds so that you can take action on something, right? So th there's some kind of action that needs to be taken in order to run with this opportunity, in order to take it, okay? So let's take a look at your present energy. We have to be fair, the number 38. So I'm getting that there may be a reason for someone to be fair to you. Someone to Kind of look at both sides of the situation. There, be, there may be something that you need to weigh. Something that may need to compromise. But this could be someone who's being fair to you. That may not have been fair in the past. Okay. Um, but I feel like whatever this energy is. This is seeds that have been planted. You know. This is some kind of opportun opportunity. Some kind of increase that you're growing, you're expanding, okay? And I feel like once it expands, it's going to just take off. It's going to be very um, fast moving once it gets started, okay? This is something in the present energy. So this is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and abundance. It's something that's going to be very joyful for you. This is happy, happy life, uh, abundance, you know, being around family, having that love, right? So let's take a look at the near future. At the near future, we have clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. So it could be that you're seeing things very clearly for maybe the first time. It could also be that your intuition is really opening up and you're really following that intuitive feeling that you're getting. OK, 
okay? We also have Life Review, Archangel Jeremel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So I feel like, you know, you're being enlightened about a situation that may have left you feeling really uncertain about things in the past. But I feel like you're, you're coming to those important decisions. There's some kind of action that you're taking that is the right action to take okay there's some kind of a feeling of purpose of wanting but i'm really getting that this is happy energy scorpio okay and i feel like you know this could have to do with this queen of cups energy that's coming in here this could be your energy coming through to where you're feeling very supported and nurturing but it could, it could also be someone coming in who has those attributes right because here at the bottom we have the death card which is change and transformation something may have ended but i feel like this is transforming the situation because we have the ace of cups right next to it so this is definitely a new beginning a new feeling of love or appreciation for something so you may have a new pre appreciation for a life purpose that you are you know pursuing okay so let's get some clarifying cards let's clarify these cards yeah at the bottom of the deck of course we had the the ace of pentacles too so definitely something new coming in you have new beginning in love and in money you know new beginning with emotions and the material realm okay so tell me more about this knight of pentacles give me a message let's clarify the knight of pentacles please give me a message what does scorpio need to hear what does scorpio need to hear what messages spirit Okay, for the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. Offer. Multiple offers. You know, one may bring you love. One may bring you money. Right? Um, but I feel like there's offers. There's opportunity. There's many opportunities for you to pursue. And there's something that's going to be very surprising. Um, I feel like if this is an offer for... Uh, a new job, a new promotion, a raise. This is something that you didn't expect. This is something that's coming out of the blue, right? Tell me about this Nine of Swords energy, Spirit. Give me a message for Scorpio. For the Nine of Swords, we have the Empress. Yes, you're in the Empress energy. You know, there's no need to worry, Scorpio. There's no need to worry. Whatever it is that you want, you're going to have. Because you're, you're the empress, you know. Um, you have that focus, that drive, that reason to manifest what it is that you want. You know, you're birthing some ideas. You may be also very creative. You know, um, tell me about this Five of Wands energy for Scorpio. For the Five of Wands, we have the Eight of Swords. Whatever this energy is, I feel like you're not ready to reveal it to anybody. You want to keep this energy to yourself. You don't want to tell someone because you may think that they won't understand or that there may be some kind of conflict due to these opportunities. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Give me a message for the Seven of Pentacles, please. For the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, whatever whatever seeds that you're planting, you are taking action. 
You're running with those ideas. You don't care what anybody else says, what anybody else thinks. These are your ideas and you're taking up for them. You know, you're like, if this is a job offer, or if this is a promotion, you're not asking anybody else what they think. You're just like, you know, what works best for Scorpio? This is me. I'm making the decisions. This is my life. This is my purpose, right? For the um, Nine of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you know that you've done work, right? You've done all the work to cultivate. We have the Seven of Pentacles at the top and the Seven of Pentacles in the middle. So this idea, whatever this is, this new job, this promotion, whatever it is, they're going to want to, if this is a job, they're going to want you to start right away. Okay, if this is having to relocate, they're going to want you to come and, you know, start making plans, start getting things together because this is happening fast. Okay, tell me about this Ten of Cups energy. This is very fast energy here. The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay, lots of emotion. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. So you're very happy about the situation. There may be something that you're really focused on. Um, I don't feel like you're really focused on the things that you're leaving. I feel like you're focused on this one cup, this one thing. There's one thing that's very important to you, right? You're not worried about anything down here. You're worried about just that cup, you know, and what what that represents. And that could be this Ace of Cups energy, you know, some kind of new beginning, some kind of new blessing, you know, that the universe is blessing you with. We have three, four. We have four Aces, right? So this is definitely, definitely a new beginning, new possibilities, new adventure. You know, four aces is like the equivalent to the fool, okay? So that energy, that energy is like pushing you on some kind of new adventure, new journey, new beginning, you know, taking this inspired leap, okay? So whatever this energy is, I feel like <laughs> it's all good, okay? For the uh, Ace of Wands, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is definitely um, some kind of gift being offered to you. Some kind of inspiration. Um, I feel like this is also something that... It's going to be action that you may be sharing instead of holding to yourself. Okay, but I feel like, you know, this is the near past, this is the near future. So you're holding it to yourself for a time until you see something grow. Once it starts growing, now you're ready to share. Now you're ready to share the wealth, right? So I feel, I feel like after some time of watching something build, now you're able to open up and expose what that is. Okay, tell me about that Queen of Cups. The lovers. What did I tell you? This is love. This is beautiful love. For the Death card and the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles energy, I feel like whatever this is that's transforming, it, it's like a healing energy that I'm getting with this Nine of Pentacles. There may be someone who's apologizing or someone who's trying to get on your good side. Right? They may be buying you gifts. They may be buying you something to kind of, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, to butter you up. Right? But I feel like there's someone who's 
kind of offering you some kind of gift, some kind of, it could be money. Hmm. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. The devil, the devil in reverse. Something that's been holding you back. Something that may have had you bound. The hangman in reverse had you all up in your head. You weren't able to make up your mind about something. But I feel like this, this Ace of Pentacles kind of nails it to the, to the why. It, it makes it more apparent, right? Um, and I feel like you're more focused. You're more focused on making the right decision for you. You have the Nine of Cups at the bottom. So I definitely feel like this is energy that is going to make you very happy. You know, you're, you're getting what you need in this situation. Okay? That there's some kind of abundance here, some kind of increase. And you're able to regain your focus. But it's going to be a couple of days. You're regaining your focus, your focus after a couple days of really being in your head. Really doing a lot of soul searching and, and thinking. There may be something that's holding you back that you're not aware of. But I feel like, you know, whatever this situation is, the truth is going to come out in this situation. Right? There, because I feel like you're curious. You're curious to know the answers. You're curious to want to know what this information is. Because this new beginning is what you're focused on. Okay? You're focused on this new energy. Very interesting. Give me an outcome. Tell me what the outcome will be. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages from Scorpio. What's the outcome? Okay, the chariot moving. Moving. You're changing positions. Right. We have the uh, high priestess in reverse. You still don't have all the answers. You still don't have... You still don't have all the answers to your situation, but you're moving, Scorpio. You're laying down your burdens. You're ready to go. You found your focus. You're ready for this new journey. I, f I feel like it could be at the point where you just walk away. Okay? You walk away from something because there's something better. There's something new. Um, you're in this Empress energy. Right? Um... Change. Good fortune. Yeah, there's something that you're leaving behind. But all is still well with you. Even though you don't have everything totally figured out, um, I feel like it's still working out in your favor. It's still going exactly how it was meant to. If this is a love situation, I feel like you know, you could be doing this for love. You could be leaving something behind for love. Could be that you're leaving an old partner for a new partner, right? Um, but I feel like you're you're having this turning point for love. You know, you're no longer you're no longer feeling like you have these walls built up, like there's conflict or you don't have all the answers, you know? Um, very interesting. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get some angel cards. Let's see. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. Okay, we have love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Okay, so love and peace. 
Hmm. We also have Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answers you seek. Trust what you know. Okay? So even though everything isn't totally revealed to you, Scorpio, I feel like you already know the answer. You already know what's going on if this is a situation, but I feel like you're moving into an improvement. You know? You may be totally focusing on yourself on a new beginning and leaving something else behind. But I feel like you have inspired focus that, you know, you are everything that you need and want. You know your worth. You know you're in this Empress energy. You know your worth. Okay? So let's get an angel number for Scorpio. We have 1818 Optimism. Successful manifestation of your abundance is near. Higher levels of optimism are needed as new abundant beginnings are on the horizon. Brighter days always come after the darker night, uh, after the darkest nights. Your affirmation, everything is in perfect order as I enter into this new chapter of my journey and I connect to the abundance that is near. So yeah, what was I saying, Scorpio? Beautiful energy. There's definitely new beginnings here. There's something that's going to make you very happy. You know, there's something that you may be leaving behind that is bringing you a little bit of grief. And I don't know why I'm getting shame. Maybe someone's shamed you. But I feel like you're, you're coming out ahead. You're coming out better, right? So, Scorpio, this is your message. If this message resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They, be, they may be resonating with you more this time. Okay? And until your next reading, Scorpio, many blessings to you. Love and light.